can you imagine that? Driving a manual vehicle at rush hour in the winter, in the rain, at dusk, where, where you're not allowed to touch the left pedal at all. Excellent sheep crossing the road. That is still better than television. Any more for any more? Okay, we're all done. Okay, I'm getting bored of double D clutching to change gear now. I'm going to see if I can uh, uh, find somewhere to pull over. Sort it out. Hmm, engine's nice and hot, which is nice. Hmm, there it is. Right in there, that's the uh, the clutch linkage. What's gone wrong? What's adjustable? Hmm. So before I get my toolbox out, I'll see if I can fix it with a shampoo bottle from Poundland. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's just stuck in there. <clears throat> no. No. There's definitely. I can see some looseness in the cable, but. Hmm. No, but it's at its full extent here, so it's not the clutch. So it's the cable or the pedal. That was good. All solved. I got got down to two solutions with that. <laughs> All right. So there's the lever that goes into the clutch bell housing here, and here is the cable from the clutch, which, as you see, is loose there so there's a lot of play in it and mm, like obviously the clutch spring is so strong I can't move it from here uh, so now is the question of why that cable is loose and if I tighten it at this end will it pull out of the pedal end hmm okay it's interesting so what's going on with the clutch that I can discern. Mm. Oh, I fixed it. Or did I? No, no, I didn't. That, I shouldn't be able to move that with my fingers. That one finger. No way. <laughs> All right, that's loose. Ah, that's put some light on it, so... Let's see how all this operates together. Huh. Just to uh, get me home, <laughs> not that I, I'm not already home, I shall sequester uh, this bungee cord to act as a temporary return spring just to maintain temp, uh, tension in the clutch cable. Thus, yes. <sighs> Did that temporary fix work? Ooh, hello. Oh, mm, mm, no. <laughs> oh, no, it's stuck at the bottom now. Oh, I can't be bringing it back with my toes. That's ridiculous. 
whole point of that bungee was to make a return spring. I have no clutch, no clutch. Is it drivable? Right. Mm -hmm. Obviously no clutch. Can I just like wedge it into a gear or something? Oh. No clutch. I can. Uh, I thought I could use the synchro mesh as a clutch, but uh, I can't. Not a very good time to be messing around with uh, <coughs> trying to start the car without a clutch, with all these comings and goings of uh, yeah, soccer mums. Uh, will be the inaugural challenge for the shelving unit that uh, Rob kindly bought me. So I'm going to put one of these on the floor now as like a, well, to stop me getting soaking wet. So just one line of bungee won't do it, but if I double up the bungee, it is strong enough as a return spring. So I found one clear path here that doesn't like ruin everything on the way. And I just need to tie off the bottom one. Ah. So the problem is in uh, clutch pedal where it ties on to the cable. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, ah, tie both these off somewhere. The only external moving parts on this engine are the, the belt loop there and the fan which is uh, yeah inaccessible so just have to make sure I don't touch that rubber <sighs> is that enough hmm mess <sighs> light all right all right Hmm. Oh, okay. Showtime. Clutch in. No gear. No synchro mesh. No. Okay, I've put it in first. I'll just have to drive it out first. I don't know if that's possible. Okay. Right, just have to drive it straight home now. See if I can just double the clutch. Well, not just mat match rev synchro mesh. Fucking hell, junctions are deadly, man. Huh. Second. Yeah, rev matching. Some on the main road should be plain sailing. There's the Torridge Bridge. Let's hope it's just third, fourth, and fifth from here on, eh? Just over a quarter of a tank left, and I have to do a hundred miles, hundred and nine miles. Can you imagine that? Driving 
a manual vehicle at rush hour in the winter in the rain at dusk where, where you're not allowed to touch the left pedal at all well, I'm going to sleep well tonight record stop I rented a Honda 250 trials bike in the People's Democratic Republic of Laos about 17 years ago and I rented it for a week and on day two the uh, clutch cable snapped and I managed to ride around that um, for another five days on uh, not very friendly terrain. Uh, simply by matching uh, the gear, matching revs to change gear with the foot. And I hurt my big toe doing it, but I shouldn't have been wearing socks with sandals. <laughs> As Rudyard Kipling said, you meet triumph with disaster and treat those two imposters just the same because character building experiences are what build your character and what would you be without strength of character? <sighs> yeah. And also the thing about character building experiences is even if it's not your first rodeo, yeah, it's not over. Another one could come back any time to test you. <laughs> and here we are. I wish I could have discovered van life before enlightenment. It would have been a fast track compared to the long, painful, suffering, circuitous route that I took when I was one of the naive, uninformed, half-asleep sheep 